Afternoon, Gary. Hi, how are you? Yeah, good, thank you. There's only one place to start, really, the, the big Premier League news this week, the departure of Thomas Tuchel from Chelsea. Did that catch you by surprise? What did you think? Yeah, no, it did catch me by surprise. I think, um, I, I mean, obviously, we, we know that um, in, in the industry, managers lose their jobs and sometimes you see them come in, some, sometimes you don't. Um, nature of it, I think, of obviously, he's a fantastic coach. He's done a fantastic job at Chelsea, won big, big trophies. Um, so, yeah, yeah, it, it, it was surprising. Um, but on the other hand, in, in football, probably not that surprising. Graham Potter on the verge of being appointed as the, the new Chelsea boss, as someone that's worked within the game for a, for a long time. Can you appreciate and understand why he would be the top of their list to replace Thomas because of the qualities he has, the way he sets his teams up, the, the tactics he's adopted during matches? Is he someone that you feel could could go to that next level? I have having watched Brighton all week since Sunday. I can f fully understand why Chelsea would be interested in him there. He's done a fantastic job there well coached team good in possession good out of possession real real good principles um so yeah he's obviously a, obviously a top coach i don't know i don't know much about him personally just the work he's done um obviously as a, a young coach myself you look around at, at, at what's going on in the game and he was always always his teams were ones you looked at and, and studied and yeah they, they play a nice brand of football and they're, they're they're very very functional as well so yeah not not surprised that that big clubs would be would be interested in his services how do you think the departure of Graham from Brighton will affect your game with them at the weekend? The, the dynamic of that dressing room, the, the way they set up the team, and of course someone going in as a caretaker manager for a, a big Premier League game. Yeah, I think he's he's got a fantastic coaching team with him, Graham, um, and he's been with that group of players for probably three years. Maybe it's maybe his fourth season with them, um, and they'll they're, they're so they're so well coached and will be well prepared for the game. I have no doubt. So hasn't made any difference to my preparation towards it or our, uh, the preparation that our boys have done. We're, we're fully focused. I expect it to be just as tough whether Graham's on the on the touchline or isn't. I expect that their coaches will be well prepared as as will their team. And you can appreciate what it's like to, to jump in when a manager leaves because you've done exactly that here at Bournemouth. Yeah, I'd, yeah, I think um, yeah, when, when you're asked, I'm, I'm sure the boys, their boys will be ready to do it. Whoever ends up doing it, I think they'll... Um, as I say, coming off the back of of Graham and and the work that he's done there in three years, I would I would expect their their game plan to be very similar. I don't I don't I don't think um, I can't see it changing much. As they've had a really good start to the season, um, so yeah, I, I expect the challenge to be to be just as difficult. Um, and we'll yeah we'll see how we go Saturday. You had an incredible playing career. You clearly went into to coaching and management. You were at Liverpool for, for some time. You come to Bournemouth in February 2021. I guess all this was building with a view to becoming one day a manager. Having picked up four points from your first two games as, as a caretaker boss, now you've sort of let the dust settle from what happened last week with Scott. Does this feel like an opportunity you'd like to take? Does this job as the Bournemouth manager feel like the, the right chance for you now at the right time? I think... You mentioned the journey, and that—that's. I still feel like I'm well. Like I'm, I'm still on that journey. I feel nine, probably nine years now since I started my coaching badges. Um, I started them with a view to being a manager. Um, I've, I've always wanted to be a manager from from quite a young age in my playing career. Um, whether whether that needs to be now or the time frame around that, I'm not not too specific on. I think. Um, the four points from two games, the, the margins are so fine. I think that, 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 that just is what it is. We've prepared the team we best, the best we can and things have gone our way in the first two. Um, I'll look to do the same again on Saturday. Hopefully it goes our way. Hopefully the boys put in a performance that, that we can all be proud of again. Um, and then we look, we look forward again after, after Saturday and see where we are. If Maxim and the Bournemouth board came to you and said, we'd like you to become the new Bournemouth manager, would it be an easy decision to make should they pose that question? I think it's it's a it's an unbelievable club um, run by good people. So, of course, if if so, if somebody asked me around that, there would be always be a consideration. Chris, if it is Bruno that takes over on an interim basis from Graham Potter, ultimately that is going to probably affect your um, preparation somehow. Have you done much work on? Uh, obviously, there's not much time for him to make an impact. But have you done much work on him? Uh, no, I think. We, we focus purely on the, the team. Um, Brighton are 
as I've already said, fantastic team, great start to the season, play good football, have some real clear, a real clear identity. I, I, I don't see that changing for Saturday. I think they'll they'll look very similar to how I've seen them look in every other game that I've watched them in. Um, so we'll we'll be well prepared for for what they bring. Um, we've done some good work this week. I feel like the boys are in a good place and. Um, yeah, looking looking forward to see where we can get the the group to again from three o'clock till quarter to five on Saturday. Seeing what what level we can get them to. He leaves them as a, after a five two win. Um, I imagine you've watched that game a lot or lots of aspects from it. What did you take from it that you can apply to the game on Saturday? Uh, that, that they're a good side. They they, they want to control the game with the ball. They they have threats all, all over the pitch. Um, so yeah, they're, they're a good side. They've scored a lot of goals, of course, already this season. So. Yeah, I've, I've watched all, all their games and we'll, we'll be ready, I'm sure. And um, were there any particular aspects you were focusing on from there? Because obviously when the manager does leave, um, it's going to change the mentality of a lot of players. Um, no, I don't, I don't think when I, when I personally, when I look at watch games and think about how I'm going to prepare our team for it, I, I look at every aspect, um, try and spot everything you can in possession, out of possession, where they're where they're strong, where they're not so strong. Um, and yeah, I, d I don't know what effect Grand Potter having will, what uh, leaving will have on the, the group. I would expect them to be extremely professional around it and arrive here um, as they always would and, and try and put on a good display. I, I, don't, I don't think I don't think him leaving gives us any any advantage. I think it's the, the same game that it would have been. Twenty four hours, uh, forty eight hours from now, uh, Bruno will be on the touchline for Brighton. Any advice for him? No, he definitely doesn't need advice from me. I'm sure he's got it all all covered. So um, I've got a, enough to worry about getting my own team ready without trying to offer Bruno with any advice. Talking about your own team, uh, Gary, can you give us an injury roll call ahead of the game? Yeah, so no Ben Pearson, no Joe Rothwell tomorrow, uh, Saturday, sorry. And uh, Junior Stanislas? Uh, yeah, back on the grass with the boys. Um, trained this morning, trained well. So good to see him back in and around it. Um, obviously, we need to, we need to do some work with him, but yeah, it's good to have him back out there. How are Ben and Joe Rothwell? Uh, so Ben Pearson, I don't think he's going to be out for too long. Um, it's still not 100% clear on exactly how long, but I, I don't think it's going to be too significant, which is good. Um, Joe Rothwell has, a, has a, a few more weeks, I think, of some work still to do. Um, keen to obviously get them both back, but need as always need to make sure that the the, the right um, the right strategy is taken and, and, and we get them back safely and, and as soon as possible. You said you didn't enjoy the 90 minutes against Wolves. Did you enjoy the second 45 minutes against Nottingham Forest? It's funny actually, I, I, I quite enjoyed all of it. I mean, the, the first half was what it was. I thought looking back at it, we we played a real good part in, in it um, and let ourselves down with some decisions and some... Um, some sort of technical aspects in the final third where we didn't make the most of situations. Um, but I thought 2 0 was probably harsh at half time um, and felt we had enough in us to to come back into the game. Um, yeah, at, at 1 0, my half time team talk was going to be really positive. Um, and that the penalty obviously makes it feel like it's going to be a big task from there. But um, yeah, we, we, we managed to stay with it and, and, and as you know, got, got a good response. I know you don't get much spare time as a Premier League manager, but I know you're a keen golfer. I was doing a little bit of background on you. Did you try to qualify for the Open one year? Is that true? Oh uh, yeah, I did. I've done British Open qualifying a couple of times back in uh, a long time ago now. I don't, I don't play much anymore, um, as, you, as you rightly pointed out. You don't get much time, so definitely no golf planned any anytime soon. Just finally. Uh, there's a big Premier League Cup game coming up here at Vitality Stadium on Friday, the 23rd of September, 7 pm kickoff against Derby. Now, we've seen the importance of those young players this season in the Carabao Cup and in the Premier League. So it's a fixture you must be looking forward to, to watching. Yeah, of course. I think the, the, the impact that um, Mark Travers, Jordan Zamora, Jaden Anthony, and. Um, I've had on the on the first team squad has been massive for the for the club, you know, to to, to bring free through. Um, so yeah, you, uh, you you always pay a real interest to, to how the young boys are doing. You see them in and around training sometimes, and always keen to see how how they're getting on. So that the, the cup game will will be a good opportunity to do that.